Alrighty, so SDR Sharp and scanning with a frequency manager. So I'll put a link to this folder. You can find the thread over in radio reference for this. But what we're going to do is we're going to get frequency manager and put it in with SDR Sharp. So with no further ado, we'll get SDR Sharp going. Open it up. Sometimes this thing runs fast. Sometimes it's a little slow. All depending on the, the server, I guess. So, uh, all right. So we're gonna run SDR Sharp and set up a couple of the things here. You gotta set stuff up and then close SDR Sharp. If you set things up the way you want it, and it crashes on you, which it tends to do, you lose those settings. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our dongle. I'm using a Noelx Smart V4. So we'll set that, close that. We don't need that anymore. We're going to set this to auto hide. We're not going to be using that, but all right. So we're going to NFM. Let's go. You set this 500 to 800, somewhere in there. This squelch is going to be around 45. Lower this range down. Right, down here. And about eighty five eighty. All right, and then our audio. I'm going to set to a VB cable and then click this auto hide. It'll stay over here. You just mouse over and it comes up. Over here, mouse over, it comes up. Let's set this to here. He's about 32.8. I think my dongle's about dead on right now. I like to lower my sample rate. You don't have to. But it feels like it uses less uh, resources on the computer. Close that. And we're going to close that so it saves it. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna let open this up in a new window. We're going to unzip the frequency manager. So we're gonna take this deal, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna put it in a plugins folder. And then we're going to open this PDF. The PDFs have a lot of information on the plugin. It's a real good to read it over. We're going to copy this magic line. And then we are going to open up the plugins XML with a text editor of your choice. We're going to add that line. And we're going to hit save. And then I'll go back and I'm just going to add the other deal I downloaded, Frequency Scanner. I'm going to copy these two deals. And I'm just going to put them straight in the SDR Sharp folder. And let's go. Another PDF with lots of information on the plugin. I'm gonna copy this line, the magic line. And I'm gonna stick it in the 
Exit mail for plugins. And I'm gonna hit save, and then we're done with that. And we're gonna open up SDR Sharp. Frequency scanner. I'm gonna drag it a little bit. Hit auto hide. Frequency manager. Drag it out. Auto hide. All right, so we gotta add some frequencies. What do we got here? At? Got some off that are active tonight on my scanner. And so you go to the frequency, hit new. You can create a new group or use a stock. Uh, just put it. Oh, fire. And I don't remember which ones are which, so we're just going to put. Well, one. You see it saved your settings that you have over here. I'm gonna hit OK, and we're gonna add another frequency. Go to frequency manager. Let me make that a little bigger. It's missing a button right here, so we're probably gonna have to restart it. So, but we'll just add these frequencies real quick. Some of these are fire, but just for the sake of the video, you know, so my noise floor goes up and down. I got a lot of NXDN repeaters, some SCADA, and a lot of DMRs around me, so it goes up and down. Let's see, 154, 815. Okay, we're going to go here and click this little gear icon. Set squelch on sound. We want to show the names. You can put them on the waterfall down here or up on the spectrum. And hit OK. All right, I'm going to stop and restart this because there should be a little button right here. So we're going to go ahead and save all our stuff there. Open it up again. Yeah, you see there's a little button right here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go here. You open your frequency manager. You're going to click this. And it's going to select them all. And then you can uncheck some if you don't want to listen to them. And just those ones. Hit it, clear them all. Click it again. Hit scan. 
You can set how long you want it to pause once it stops on the channel. And we just wait for traffic. I'm going to drop this down to one second. I might have to lower the this down to like ten because of all those NXTNs. Lock six. I'm gonna take that off. But that's scanning your save frequencies. Real quiet now. I'm watching my scanner out to the side over here. There's just not a lot of traffic tonight. Stop this and try lowering my try forty four. But that's how you set it up. Hopefully you don't have so much junk in the air like I do over here. But it's awful quiet tonight. Okay. Let's hop over to frequency scanner real quick. So you're gonna go over here to configure. This has been a while since I've done this. Is there, what did I change? I don't think I ever edited anything over here, really. I'm going to edit the scan range. Okay, so we're going to give it a name. And then we're going to put a range. So we want it to start. I'm going to start it. 151, so 151, it's in kilohertz, so 151, 000, 000, 000, 000. Right. And I want to end it at 156. 000, 000, 000. zero. Twelve five should be it, but I got all that interference, so I'm gonna go ahead and put ten. Step size about six point five. Oh wait, my bad. Six five zero zero. All right, I hit OK. I'm gonna go here to frequency scanner. I want to scan this range. Wait one second. Um, trying to think, is there was a oh, 
I can't wait for Control 1, Medic 1618. All right, so frequency scanner, we're going to choose what we just set up. Medic 1618, we are going code 1 to St. John's. Hit scan. 1618, So now on this, if it stops on a channel, it's just interference or something. You go down here, and you got some options. You can lower this noise floor down. See like that one right there? If it stops on some noise like that, you can hit the pause and then lock it out. And then hit go. Basically, I had to go through what I would have to go through and lock out all this NXDN stuff. There'll be little red lines where you locked it out. There's some more settings in here where you can get that to line up better. I've never really messed with it. But that's how that works. Hope this helps out in some way. And uh, leave comments if you think it's stupid or have better ideas.